quite often the person who creates a spreadsheet is not necessarily the person who uses the spreadsheet and enters data. Data validation is a way of ensuring that the data is entered accurately. A very simple example here on the screen where we've got the person's title, first name and surname. It's very clear to the creator what is required. The users might have a different idea. For example, the first user might put in the name in that format and the next user might put Mr with a dot and the next user might put the full title of Mr. This can get in the way of data searches and filtering. So data validation is a way of preventing that from happening. The first thing is to make sure you select the cells where data is likely to be entered. Then, using the Data tab and the Data Tools section, we can select Data Validation. And this brings up the Data Validation dialog box. Currently, the setting is for any value. Anything can be entered into the cells that are selected. What we need to do is limit the input. And we do that on this drop-down menu. We can limit the input to just whole numbers, for example. Let's try that. A whole number between. We can change that to not equal to or equal to or bigger than or smaller than. But let's make it between 1 and 100. Now I know this doesn't fit in with title, but we'll get back to that. So we'll go to allow a number between 1 and 100. We then click on OK. Now anybody entering information into these cells can enter information any number between 1 and 100 but if they try to put in a decimal value which is not a whole number we get a warning message. We cancel that and try a number over 100 and again we get a warning message. The data validation routine is kicking in and saying wait a minute that's no good. So just delete those figures. We can remove the data validation by selecting the cells and then going back to data, data validation brings up the data validation box. We can clear all to remove the data validation on those cells. So let's change this then. I'm not going to go through each one of these. You can see we can do it for whole numbers, decimal values, lists that I will come back to, date, time, text length and custom. So let's do, because list is uh, a very useful way of producing a list of data that is allowed to go into that cell using a drop down menu. Now we don't have to use a drop down menu. If we want people to type into the cell, we remove that in cell drop down tick. If we want them to be able to choose, like this is a drop down list, then we tick the box. Inside this source box is where we type in the information that's allowed. So let's put Mr. as an MR, comma, Mrs., comma, Doctor, comma, and I suppose we should have uh, Miss and Ms. So that's the only items that will be allowed in these cells. We then click OK. Now, you can see when anybody selects one of these cells that the data validation has been added to, we get a drop down menu selection. Clicking on that arrow allows us to choose the item that needs to go into that cell. Now you have Mr. If somebody tries to type, as long as it's in that list, it's accepted. If somebody tries to type something that's not in the list, we get the error message. Let's have a little think about this error message. The value you entered is not valid. A user has restricted values that can be entered into this cell. Not very useful. A typical Microsoft error message, if you will. We can enhance that, make it better. Let's just click Cancel. 
and look at doing that. We'll select the cells again that the data validation is on. Go back to the data tab and data validation. Because we've got those cells selected, the dialog box has picked up the validation rule that's already there. The clarification comes from these two tabs here. First of all, we can put an input message. This is a, a screen tip that will pop up as soon as somebody selects that cell. Show input message when the cell is selected. Um, input. So we'll just give it a title. And then we can put the message underneath. Please only enter information from this list. You can type or select. So you can type anything you wish there and we'll click on OK. Now you can see as soon as somebody clicks on one of those cells we get this useful screen tip telling people what information to enter. But it still doesn't stop somebody entering the wrong information without that meaningless error message. Let's go one step further then. Select the cells again data validation. This time we're going to put the error alert on. The error alert is a message that comes up if somebody types in something incorrectly. Now there's three types of error. A stop error, a warning error and an information error. A stop error will come up on the screen and say stop you are entering the wrong information and will not allow you to enter the wrong information. The warning information says, wait a minute, this information is not correct, but if you really want to enter it, then you can. And you have to select the appropriate box to do that. The information um, is, is really very similar to warning. There's very little difference between the warning one. It just, again, gives you information that the uh, data is incorrect um, but it, it just lets you enter it without any help or assistance so I'm going to stick to a stop warning uh, to a stop uh, error alert give it a title um, data invalid and then the input message um, you may only enter information from the list that is Mr. Mrs. I can't remember what I put in now. Uh, Doctor, Miss, and Ms. We then click on OK. Now, whenever we click on one of these cells, we get the input message that tells us what to enter. If we ignore that and still try to type something in, instead of the standard error warning, we get the error warning that we've typed in that says you may only enter information from the list. That is Mr. Mrs. Doctor Miss or Ms. A really much more useful warning. We can then retry and it allows us to go back and make those changes. So that's data validation. Um, one little thing, if you've already set up your data, I'm just going to remove this data validation first. So I'll select data validation settings clear. If you have already typed in your information we can use that as the list rather than having to type it again. So if we want to put data validation on these cells we select the cells, data tab, data validation, again choose the type of criteria you want to allow, in this instance it's list uh, and this is a bit here. Instead of typing into here, we can actually use it as a data source. So we just select the cell range with the data in. And then click OK. And now it's picking up that cell range. The beauty of that is that if we make changes to that cell range, they are automatically updated in the list. 